a key part between winning and losing is the mental toughness, the personality, how deep you can dig in all different situations, how you can cope with stress, with pressure. Whenever you think you're done and given everything, you've got to look for that extra 10%. Fundamentally, it's your, it's your mental attitude that's going to make the difference. You have to want to win. You will get knocked down time and time again and you need to come back. You won't always be successful. You have to pick yourself up when times are hard and rebuild yourself. That got told to me a lot when I was growing up. I wasn't strong, wasn't big enough. I was told I can't do it. So I went and did it. It's a long grind and it can be really tough. So mentally you need to be capable of holding a goal that might seem way, way over here but know why you're doing this on a daily basis. When you don't always have your competition right next to you, it becomes very psychological. You know, you've got to almost imagine them there and it's who can do that the, the best and get the most out of themselves. The really important thing is the preparation that is done of the mind alongside the body. Within your physical preparation, having those key moments of psychological clarity so that you are on the start line ready to execute and looking forward to finding out how well you can race. The things that you know are going to happen is that the green light is going to come on, the buzzer will sound, the race will start and you will take that first stroke. Those are things that you know. Knowing the training you've done and being confident in yourselves as a crew is definitely a big part of getting your best performance out. Believing in the training that you're doing is the right thing. Belief in the teammates around you they're the right people, believing that you're in the right boat, that you are being coached by the right coach. That all plays a part into your belief on that start line. We all just have our own little routines and we all have our own things that we do. I try to find myself 10, 15 seconds of space to slow my breathing down. For me, the nerves are a good thing. If they're not there, I should probably worry more. I think you need to the ability to switch off from pain sometimes. It hurts like hell but I'm, I know I'm the kind of guy that can carry on and not, not quit on my crew. You just do it. There's no question about it. If you want to be better than anyone else, you just do it. You get to the last minute of the race and you feel like you've got nothing left and what we train for is to push through that last minute, have boats around you and be the boat that finds something extra. Belief just grows inside us and it grows because we know what we're doing and we know what a boat should feel like and what a fast boat feels like and we know how to win races and we know how to push through the pain and you know you're going to be able to perform. It's just making sure you do it faster than the other people around.